just wanted to do a video about cleaning brushes. So obviously when you're doing makeup, brushes are really important. Um, but another factor in each type of brushes application is also keeping them clean. Um, so I wash, I like hand wash my uh, brushes about once a week. Um, sometimes honestly longer, but it should be at least once a week. <laughs> Um, admittedly, I get lazy sometimes, but um, anyway, I wanted to show you how I hand wash my brushes. Um, if you have like a spray brush cleaner, those are really great, um, but that is more for like a daily quick cleaning. Um, it's not really meant to keep them like sanitary, so, um, or I should rephrase that. It, it does clean them, but it doesn't deep clean them. So um, washing them once a week and then letting them air dry ensures that they are as clean as possible. So um, so basically, I have a couple different types of brushes here. Um, a fluffy brush, you can see there's some product on the end. That's just uh, the bristles coming apart there. So yeah, we have this fluffy brush and then a couple smaller brushes. So I'm gonna show you how I clean these. Um, so essentially, uh, you want to have a clear liquid hand soap or, you know, nothing that has like grit in it because you don't want that grit to get stuck in your brushes. So just some sort of clear uh, liquid hand soap is good. If it's like antibacterial, that's really good too. So um, basically, I'm just going to turn on some water here. I'm just taking my brush and running it under the water and I'm getting a couple pumps of soap here. Okay, so this is like a foam soap. And I'm just gonna add it to the top there. And just adding a little bit more water. Now you're gonna use your fingertips to try to get in there and emulsify it, okay? You can get a little more water. Now, I don't know if you can see here, but when you're squeezing that out, you see some of that color is already coming out. Um, you wanna make sure the bristles are really wet and add a little more soap there. And then as you squeeze, once you're washing it, or sorry, running it under the water, you wanna squeeze out that excess, add some more water, and then so you squeeze out that excess, okay? And you're gonna see more and more makeup come off of that. So squeeze some more, and mine's getting a little clearer. And I'll show you here. See, it's already coming off. So keep in mind, the way brushes are made, um, obviously you have the bristles coming out here and then in the metal part, that is where the bristles come together and are glued in here. So whenever you're washing, you don't wanna sit there and run the water like this to let like all the moisture get down here because over time that will loosen up the glue. So whenever you're washing, keep it horizontal like this and then just do your work with the bristles. And then what you wanna do is lay it flat to dry like that, okay? So what I do is I put a towel on my counter and I just lay them flat. And make sure you wring out all the extra or excess water. So for the smaller ones, they're a little bit easier. Just gonna run it under some water to get the uh, bristles wet. I'm gonna get a little bit of that foam soap. I'm just gonna really work the foam into the bristles there. Okay. We really want that soap to get in there. And then I'm gonna run it under some water, squeeze. Run it under water. These clean up really fast, the little brushes. So we can see there. And you'll be able to see right away, like all of the um, product is out of it. So something to keep in mind, especially with small brushes, like if it's a fluffier brush like this, you don't, um, obviously you don't want like, the bristles to like flatten. So you don't want to like be harsh on it and just keep it like flat like that. You kind of want to shape these so that they dry into the shape that they're meant to be. So same thing with this small one. I'm just going to run my finger across it and then along the sides. And so you have this nice shaped brush and I'm just going to lay that flat as well. And this is a fluffier brush. This is the one um, I've used in a few of my tutorials. This one's really great for blending. Um, so this one gets dirty pretty quickly just because I use it quite a bit. So same thing, I'm gonna run it under some water and use your fingers to like massage the water into the bristles. You want the bristles, it's almost like when you're getting your hair wet. Sometimes if you just walk into the shower, it's not until you really run your fingers through it that the water can get into all of it. So same thing with brush brushes. And I like to use not super hot water, but warm water. I'm getting a little bit more of my soap here. And I'm 
just lathering. Just like washing hair, you just want to lather it. Okay, now this brush is naturally like an off-white, so you can already see there a lot of the colors coming out. Running it under water, gently squeezing water. Now keep in mind, some of your brushes aren't going to be 100, especially if they're white, they're not going to go back 100% white. But you just want to make sure that overall it's pretty clean. There's like a little bit at the tip, but a lot of that is honestly shadow too. Um, but if you look at it closely, like I can see here, there's really no product in there. So same thing with this, even though it's a fluffy brush, especially with fluffier brushes, the, the, um, the, um, bristles tend to be thicker, so they will go out and like, um, kind of fan out a little bit more. So especially with those, you want to be careful not to let those get damaged. So again, I'm just kind of reshaping and I'm laying flat. So there you have it. So basically with these, I let them sit and stay overnight so that um, they get completely dry. And then by the next morning, they should be all dry. If they need a little longer, um, obviously you can let them sit out. I, If I wash my brushes, I try to do it right after I do like a morning application of makeup so that it has a full 24 hours or almost 24 hours to dry. Once they are dry, this one obviously I just washed it so it's not dry, but in the morning, once they're dry, they're gonna be like, um, kind of held together the bristles are so what I do is I just kind of flop it against my finger there to fluff it back up so I do that in the morning but there you go hopefully this was helpful and you learned a couple uh, tricks with washing your brushes if you have any questions don't hesitate to reach out okay thank you so much guys